Hello everybody and welcome back to Anno 1404 and in the last episode we finished our harbor monument. In all its glory it is working now and it is providing a permanent boost to my ships. Now the next monument that I want to focus on in completion of my city is the Imperial Cathedral and it was planned all along that we would place it right in here into the middle. I'm Unfortunately absolutely. there is a huge oh. bug with the IAM mode uh, mod that you should be aware of that if you play this game on a pancake island you're not able to place the imperial cathedral into the center of the map i have no idea why it happened already five years ago when i played this game on the normal version but it happens again even with the history patch and all of that you still cannot play or build the imperial cathedral in the center of a city so in that case we need to work around here first of all I still have a use for that central ground here and that is the palace. Now we do have a palace in this game as well. It is quite a huge and extensive palace that we can place in here. Then it's very similar to the 1800 palace so it is modular and we can build lots of different modules there for the palace to make it bigger. Pretty cool. No doubt about that, but we still want to build the Imperial Cathedral and I tinkered around a bit where I should have this um, cathedral and you can place it on the edge of a map. It's not as beautiful as, for example, the center, of course, but for the center, well, we still have another work here, so we still have another plan for that. So that's a good thing, right? I have a plan B on that. First of all, let's get rid of this district here, so of these buildings here. Another thing that I want to do is I want to have my tavern there right away because I moved the tavern now up there for all these people here um, and here we have now a beautiful spot right so we can place it here it will be working the the case though is we still of course also want to make it a bit beautiful it is very close now to the forest foresters there so of course not the best option but still the most viable option without destroying too much and it's still in the center and it's still also connected with the main road so all of these things are pretty cool to me i think so we can do this right um let's get rid of these two foresters there in the meantime um I, of course i do need foresters but i don't need those foresters here right away uh, we can use the space then here for a few more buildings that we have then in the surrounding area and well then i should say let's get cracking with the um, imperial cathedral we can squeeze it in just here at the end of the uh, main road and i think this is a perfect spot for it um actually it's not the worst spot in the world right because um we have a beautiful mountainside there in the background too so this is all working let's get us a warehouse out there can the foundation be laid? Right, and let's Lovely. get started with the construction the of it. Um, and now, the they time. hopefully, will be getting the resources, and what I can see is they are very good. So this is working, this is something we can work towards, um, and I can still have them buildings around it, so this is all working, um, and hopefully um, we can really make something beautiful there. Let's also have some more normal buildings than here on the side that I can add, and we might just add then more buildings here as well and we can also add more houses here so that it is kind of connected with the city after all now let's just finish the road construction that we want there um, and here in front of the cathedral of course we have a nice beautiful plaza that we have a church there too we can get rid of that church once the cathedral is finished help. and of course the since the cathedral is so far on the edge now it's not going to cover long. the whole city anymore but that is not a problem it's covering the central ground we can still get rid of a lot of churches there um, later on and we can, can still keep with. some churches which makes sense to the me as well good very good so construction Everything has started on the cathedral foundation here and as we can see workers are on the construction side and work has Everything begun and of course we're going to make this more beautiful there as well now let's just check something else how many diligent. noblemen do we have 6900 and i will be able to upgrade a few more that is exactly what i want not only those people there but perhaps also a bit more towards the imperial cathedral there right we should get a bit closer there as well so that this whole thing here looks to our liking um those guys here too there is unfortunately a citizen that doesn't have any education so education here might make sense oh a monastery who knows about ways. that we might just squeeze something in here after all um for all of those citizens there once the cathedral is finished let's also upgrade that market house here so it looks a bit something like um the peasants these peasants here will be able to upgrade soon oh there we also have an empty spot let's use this right away we might actually also squeeze more people in here 
who knows um what is going on with those guys here they want to enjoy themselves they miss a tavern we do have a tavern spot there still available or yep we do it rather close to the other houses here so we can upgrade them later so let's do that let's squeeze in another tavern then here as well into this space this should be working fine and I can totally see that this is looking beautiful after a bit of time. Very good. Another thing just happened now with upgrading so many noblemen. Look at that. All roads lead to, well, I guess Sleepy Hollow. You have achieved the city status of Walled City. We get another 20 gems of that. Over 1,000 honor points. And the thus we have also achieved complete. the highest level of the city status, which is a cosmopolitan city, the Walled City. Um, pretty cool. So this is how big your city can grow of course we can still make it bigger can if we I want to but other than that um we have now the highest level for sleepy hollow a majestic city like in it. that regard um another thing that we have is one of our traders is just here uh, before kingsport and no here since we have that much honor let's purchase all these scrolls diplomatic scrolls got a, good deal, a lot eh? of that costs me over a thousand or cost me a thousand actually and let's get it down here to Shapu El Shaikh, where Sit the down. Grand Vizier is and living and waiting for it, so that we can reach the next this diplomatic rank gone. there as well, to get all these things up there. Of course, that is something we should pursue as well. Now, I still have a problem, though, since we upgraded so many buildings. Um, some of my products are going down a bit, obviously. Let's use one of my mm, traders there. There, I have it already filled with some tools. Let's unload some of these. Um, take some other stuff with us because we need to reinforce a few things amongst them is the bread and the beer production It's lacking at the moment and we do have those things right we do have a beautiful Nothing production here already And he admits that you're more powerful pretty cool Thank you Cardinal by I the way. We haven't done any world. diplomacy in, so in quite some time I might just keep that right. up here that for those guys Right. Oh, we could even go with alliance smart. with him, but I'm not there going with no any alliance there Why because if he's going at war with someone and he's constantly going at war with each with someone at least um, We would be dragged into this whole mess, and I don't want that and there's also the ship now with the tokens. Let's turn it in. And yes, at least we got that going. So we have the Grand Vizier's advisory status now with a thousand prestige. This opens up even more buildings now for the future. So also some defense buildings here as we can see a Sultan's Palace that we might add as well. Looks pretty similar. And also Oriental Shipyard and the Obelisk. Some pretty cool stuff there if we want to enlarge in our city. Wait ah, a second, we still have so much honor. Um, speaking of honor about researching, um, we do have a few things down here that might be helpful in case of a war. First of all, we can increase the maximum number of ships. Now let's just have a look at our well ship limit. We can go up well. to 250 ships at the moment, 49 ships, and we only have 60. So this is really far away reaching that limit, no problem. But um, increasing the damage done by my encampments and my um, camps in general, that is a pretty good thing, right? We can go up here to 30%. Now let's keep it with 20% damage increase. Well, also, we can increase the hit points for all my towers. And we also get another <laughs> achievement by that. Eureka! And another 20 gems. Let's just check what else we have. We can still unlock the last level here. So in that case, um, the fewer envoys are needed. For that, the Venetian always is a bit nice there. So house searches, auxiliary fleet, reduce the safe house upkeep and reduce the cooldown for infiltration. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's do that and increase our income with that a bit. Um, and then we're down to 200 honor. So that's quite fine for me now. Um, and now we're collecting honor again then for um, getting up there to the next rank. And the next achievement, the Silver Medal of Mammon, 500,000 gold coins with 20 gems again. Like, there are lots of achievements coming in right now. Yeah, we have 500,000 coins. We're definitely getting one with a million there as well. Um, I'm on my way also to send a few more ships there to Ashgabat. And wait, wait a second, where do we have the Indigo? There we have the Indigo, but here we have plenty of resources. Because I want to up my Indigo production. Let's just see, do we have Indigo in store? Yeah, it's pretty much actually. Um... What we want here is increase that because I want to go for carpets now as well. Carpets is something that my envoys or my uh, people in the oriental town need. Um, in that case, let's go for it. So indigo is the first step of it. We do need another well for this, obviously. A few more of them. And what we also can have here is upgrading our... Oh, no, wait a second. Let's get some warehouses out here as well. We have 
plenty of stone, and they don't cost that much stone. They rather cost a lot of tools, from what I can tell. Lots of that, very good. And the ship is on its way. Speaking of ships, we have another ship up here for our beer production. Let's unload all the resources, and boy, it's a lot of resources. Let's also check real quick. Oh yeah, Herbs is going down, so this is the culprit in, uh, at the moment. This is where we need to improve. We got lots of them Have already. Herb Gardens, beautiful, goods. beautiful houses there that we can add here. And rather easy to build as well, since one they really just need one good um, building for each production, more or less, and not several of them. So let's add a few more here. And yeah, let's have normal dirt roads for that. Because it doesn't matter how fast it actually is. It can transport up to five goods anyway. And this one goes to that warehouse there. And then all we need to do is plant them all at once. That's 13, 13... 14 and this should be 14 as well very good let's also upgrade that market building there increased production it's getting a bit tight here now right we can still have let's see we can still have some grain farm here perhaps two of them might squeeze might be squeezed in oh very good actually three let's have there another one and then yeah this is possible too and then let's just have the fields Three more here. I'll take what I am owed. Very good. And now all we need to do is having a few more of these breweries. I mean, boy, we have a lot of them already, but can't hurt to have even more. A lot of these monastery breweries. Right, three more, four more. Sounds like music to my ears. And yeah, let's also have another warehouse there to collect all that beer. That is only one thing, though. We also have the bread production. And the bread is also pretty easy. We have the building resources here already. So all we need really is a lot of additional green farms. As we can see, we already got some marketplaces there. A market house with warehouses. So all I need to do here is really just add a few more of them. Right up. And perhaps also behind them. And this should work splendidly. All we need to do now is, once again, the roads and the fields. And boom, we have lots of beautiful grain fields once again. The only problem is, well, the timber. It's going out so quickly that we always need to get more timber. I think we have, yep, we still have over 100 tons in Sleepy Hollow. Even though we're depleting Sleepy Hollow there with the building materials right now as well. Because we need to reinforce so many other things. And, of course, we still want to One keep upgrading our buildings there as well. Especially goods. around the cathedral. The upcoming cathedral. The Being a wall city is not enough. Progress. We need to grow even further than that. The and this is exactly is what I'm doing here. And here yeah, looking good so far. Gone. Still the resource no coming in and we are already almost halfway through the first so stage of it and it's a four stage building. It's going to take us a while there. But still, it's something going in the background. We have a bit of a plague there as well, a bit of fire. I do have a doctor though. Yeah, not close enough though. Hmm. Your water supplies are Difficult. Up. We have a bit of space here so for now let's just have a medic. Oh, I need tools. I don't have the tools right now. Let's replenish the water. That's the water for all the Norias. And let's just do here our indigo. For indigo, we can have two of them again side by side. Nah, that's going to be a tough one. But we might make it work. And look at that, Gifokas and Giovanni are at war again with each other. So if I would have been allied now with Gifokas, of course, that would have meant war for me. Alrighty, and back in An Ashgabat, we want to increase here in our settlement. presence as well. So at the moment, we only have the, well, happy nomads. And as we can see, we still have lots of stuff to do here. So the milk is in now. We have the goat farm. Um, my next step would be then the carpets. So for that, I do need the indigo. And then also what we need up here is the silk. And with both of them, we can make our beautiful little, well, carpets. Another thing is that the pottery that we need here, well, the pottery is something I don't want to... to touch Murph on that, right? The Murph is here purely for the, um, for Sleepy Hollow. So what we can do is, we have a ship down here, right? At the ground is here. And we do have a bit of honor. It might be a good idea to wait here and see what happens to the 
clay deposit, right? So once we have that, we might just, um, there we have it. That was easy, right? With the first reroll, we got the clay deposit for 100 or the, the clay uh, fertility. And as we can see in Ashgabat, we have a, an available um, fertility slot and we can use the clay on that. So that means we can have the clay production here in Ashgabat as well. And that's pretty mighty, I think. Now, while those you things are on the way, we can have now on the other side, we have the um, beautiful Nori here. Um, and we might just have now our silkworms in that area too. And I love these buildings there. really looks fantastic. Um, they need five slots again. So we should separate them a bit at least if we want this to work. And there we have our silkworms now producing some precious silk. That is what we need. Um, we also have still an available ship. First of all, my main fleet has arrived. Um, nymph here. Nymph, for example, first of all, we do need for Minth, Minth, or Nymph once again. Um, some warehouses that we can place then just here. And increase thus our storage on this island. Then we can unload everything Nymph still has. The Nymph is the second, the actually. And let's get going. Oh, and we have, yeah, we have the plague here still raging. Um, I do have now the materials to also build me a medic that we can have here. So I have a medic here and here. We have now two medics that are working for those people. I hope that's fine for them. All right? Did we lose a building there? Nah, that is too small, right? No, actually, we lost the building here to the plague. Let's just have there another one again. Yeah, we're losing some people there, actually. Thanks to that. Really, really not okay, as far as I can see. Um, yeah, well, my... Oh, look at that. The car has a huge <laughs> ship there. Let's chase it. This is really a cool ship. Let's see if we can take it down. Nymph the second though um, is going to be on a trade route for Indigo. So it's Indigo 2. And Indigo 2 is going to go from Murph to Ashgabat. A rather small trade route. Um, and here we have lots of Indigo. And I'm only going to have one slot of Indigo for now. Because I think, first of all, it's a very short route. Just Venice is in between. And second of all, I don't want to deplete Indigo and completely off the earth. Right, because we also need some Indigo there for Sleepy Hollow. Um, that is coming in then. And with that, we can then finish our carpet production. And I think this is looking like a nice spot here for it. So let's get cracking with our first carpet, well, workshops that we have. And I think four of them should be a good start. And as we can see, those guys are now getting the resources. Silk we already have, so they're getting silk first and waiting on the indigo. And then we have the next Is production here as well. Um, Walrus has also arrived with the clay fertility. Let's activate it so that we have it. And boom, the seeds have been there planted. it is. So now we have beautiful clay fertility in Ashgabat. And that means we can have the pottery here right away. Do we have, yeah, we have coal mines here working already. We have coal in store. Nope. No coal whatsoever. So we'll do need um, additional charcoal burners. Let's have... There we have a bit of space here, right? So I can have another one here, for example, without the need of a, another Noria. And out here, I will probably have to build another Moria, Noria, though. The Vizier is an exceptional honor for me. The right, and let's get it up here so we can have a charcoal burner and a charcoal burner. Deal. Two of them in that regard. Um, and the Rounds only thing we need then is, the well, the clay pit. And sorry, Let pal, I'm not going to deliver anything for now. Right. It's just not necessary. Um, about the clay deposits, where should we have them? The clay mines? Yeah, here, perhaps. This is a good spot, right? There we can have it. So there we have the clay pit. And let's have three of them for now. They're actually not that expensive. Three should be fine. I mean, it's a small population for now, but we can expand it then, right? And the pod rays we can have here. Another... Oh, I can only build one. They need 18 tools. That is a lot, though. We have a purchase offer for the tools in Ashgabat. Um, we don't need anything else, but tools is needed. Let's send the ship back there to Sleep Hollow. Still lots of patricians that want to upgrade. Hmm, <laughs> Let's just check my beer. New land. Beer is going up again. Very good. It was at zero not long ago. It's going up again. Very good. The bread, the beer looking fine. As we can see, the candlesticks also very high up there. So no problem here. For the nobleman though, the wine is looking bad and the fur coats. Fur coat doesn't need to look bad. Um, we only really need the fur furrier workshop and we still have two there. Um, here and here. 
And let's just get us a street over there. As well, for these areas there. And they need salt. Salt we have plenty of, but furs is something we don't have that many anymore, right? So fur, we do need the fur fertility. Let's just see oh, some beer caves, that is. And here in Bushel Hill, we have four. Very good. Very good indeed. We can have another trade route with that opening up. Let's hope it doesn't cost that much. Nope, looks pretty good. Looks like we can have all four of them right here on this island now. Very cool sound there. There we have the first one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we also arrived there at the main harbor once again. We want to take down this ship there because he's up to no good, obviously. And perhaps also destroy the... One of your ships is under fire. Oh, here. But let's get out there a bit because I'm also getting attacked by the towers there now, by the walls. This is looking much better. Oh, there's also another flagship coming in. Let's focus that. Feels so good to finally, finally be able to stand up with the cardinal there. And this ship is also coming in. That's for me though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to be careful there. I can't afford to lose ship there especially not an, an important one like that let's get it here to mount fort it's rather close by and we can still have a, a repair print taken over a free share there it is up here and let's also just check the shares nope doesn't affect me right ashkabat is there a share yep Chobani purchased a share here look at that let's take it back right away that the council that sneaky them. bastard trying to get my islands there with his shares. We also should check the other ones there real quick. Especially also my beer. He was eyeing that previously. It's looking rather fine now. And let's get some tools there. We don't have that many tools. Should be careful about it. The tools are being depleted right now by the monument. That the is still ongoing. Is good and the first stage Everything will be finished now. Going splendidly. And there it is. Look, the first stage completed. Look at that. This is going to be a beautiful building overall. And we'll just continue from here. Stay tuned. The next phase of construction.